what's up scorpio how you guys doing scorpio this is a message for you baby take what resonates with you and leave the rest for another scorpio out there cross watches for scorpio you are welcome keep an open mind when listening to this message this is a general reading so everything may not be for you take the parts that resonate with you and leave the rest for somebody else out there okay scorpio sun moon venus rising and north node this message is for you what's going on score what you guys got going on let's see what spirit has for you okay the roles are interchangeable as well for the of roles as you see fit i didn't say that already all right father god spirit angels ancestors all that protect and guide me i call out to you during this time I ask that you cover and protect me as I tap into these messages for the zodiac sign of Scorpio. Spirit, I also ask that you give me clear guidance, okay? Give me clear sight on what it is that Scorpio needs to hear during this time for their highest good. Spirit, give me clear and accurate messages for the zodiac sign of Scorpio. What is it that they need to hear during this time for their highest good? Father God, what is it that Scorpio needs to hear during this time for their highest good? What messages do you have for my Scorpio collective that will come across this video? What is it that they need to know during this time for their highest good? Scorpio, what's going on, Scorpio? Okay, we have Pisces. So some of you could be dealing with a Pisces, but first card out is Pisces. Some of you may also have Pisces in your chart. Okay, but Pisces is here, first card out in the upright. Let's see what's going on, Scorpio. Okay, it says fast. All you need is water. It's in a reverse, okay? For some reason, I'm not getting this in a literal sense. Most of the time when I pull this card, I usually tell y'all to like fast so that you could get downloads, so that you could be closer to spirit, so that you get, so that you could become more aware, so that your intuition could be heightened, right? A lot of y'all may need to do that, okay? Some of y'all could be changing up your diet. I'm hearing that somebody is practicing an alkaline diet, so somebody here could be um, having an alkaline or vegan diet here. Somebody here may be fasting or you need to. This is something that you've been thinking about. But for others of you, I'm also getting this energy here that somebody doesn't want to let someone go. Someone is like a drug to somebody, okay? Somebody here is like, it's like you're my drug. Like, I get high off of you. I get high off of your energy. It's like, I don't want to let you go. I don't want to like, I don't want to release you, you know? It's like, no. I'm addicted to you, okay? This is the energy that I'm getting. I'm hearing that song by um Ryan Leslie and Cassie. Y'all remember that song by Ryan Leslie and Cassie? It's like, I'm addicted to you. I'm addicted to you. You're my addiction. Okay, y'all remember that song? But that's the song that I'm hearing. So for some of you, somebody here could um be feeling like addicted to someone. It's like, I, I don't want to let you go. Yeah, Capricorn energy here. Somebody here, like, I don't want to let you go. I'm addicted to you. Like, you're my addiction. Like, I don't want to fast, you know? I don't want to, like, release you. I don't want to release this. Yeah, the magician here, okay? Some of y'all could be dealing with a Pisces, a Capricorn, a Gemini, or a Virgo. But we have acceptance here, okay? It's like, accept the fact that I'm addicted to your ass, okay? Accept the fact that we in this together forever, okay <laughs> i don't know that's what i'm getting from this okay but it says don't spend too much time in contemplation fortune favors action so for those of you that actually resonate with the message about changing up your diet or becoming vegan or practicing an alkaline diet right um yeah the strong dr sebi energy too like alkaline diet right somebody here may be studying uh dr sebi and um you know his research and, and things like that somebody here could be studying the life of dr sebi and the alkaline uh, plant-based diet right um so yeah some of y'all could be doing that alkaline diet is what i keep hearing but i also feel like somebody here is unparalleled to someone yeah some of y'all really in y'all fucking feelings right now you know no shade scorpio either you and your feelings or somebody that you're dealing with in, in their feelings or both of y'all motherfuckers is in y'all feelings but somebody here definitely in their feelings. Some of you could be dealing with a fellow water sign. We did have Pisces as the first card that came out. Others of you could be dealing with somebody that has strong water in their chart. You could be dealing with a Capricorn, an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Virgo. But, yep, and Gemini is here as I cut the deck. 
some of you could also be dealing with an Aries. We got Gemini and Aries right behind each other. But I just feel like with unparalleled here in the upright, some of y'all not seeing eye to eye with somebody. Some of y'all feel like you and this person are not on the same page. Maybe y'all come from like two different worlds. Like y'all just can't compromise. Y'all just can't see eye to eye. Some of you feel like you and this person have two different, two separate love languages here. It's like, what the fuck is going on? Like, I just don't even feel like I'm connected to this person. I don't really feel like they understand me. But I feel like somebody here is trying to be patient in this situation to see if things will change. It's like, I'm hoping that our love will help this person grow or help this person change or help this person get their shit together. Somebody here being very patient with someone that they love. Some of you could also be dealing with a Sagittarius. But I feel like somebody in this situation is being very patient because they have faith that the person that they desire will get their shit together. But I also get this energy that somebody is coming to terms with the fact that somebody may not get their shit together, okay? Yeah, Ace of Cups in the reverse. I cannot make this up. Somebody here is like, but I also will accept the fact that this person may not ever get it together. I don't want to go in a new direction. I don't want to let this person go. I love them. I'm getting a lot of love here between two people. Somebody here is like, I love this person to death. Like, I love them so much. I want them to get their shit together. I've been holding on. I've been patiently waiting. I've been trying to see if they're going to change, if things are going to get better. But I just feel like we too different. I feel like we come from two different worlds. We just can't see eye to eye. We just can't compromise. It's just not working. It's like, damn, I really do want it to work, though. I really hate that it had to be like this. So somebody is really in love with somebody, and they just like, I hate that this shit had to be like this. But if it's a missed opportunity, then fuck it. It's a missed opportunity. Somebody here is just like, I accept whatever happens. If it's a missed opportunity, I accept that. If this person gets it together, then I'm happy because that's what I'm trying to manifest. This is what I want. Yeah, Scorpio, here we have you. There you go, Scorpio. I was waiting for you to come out. I feel like you believe in this person. You have strong faith in this person. You may also have friends or family or friends or family members of this person that could be trying to talk to you or you could be seeking guidance and seeking advice from friends or some shit like that about this situation, about this person. Or this person is seeking guidance, seeking advice about you. But somebody here is definitely talking to friends or family, confiding in other people about this connection, confiding in other people about this relationship. And trying to figure out what they should do and if they should continue to be patient here. It's like, I am patient. I have, I have been being patient. I do love them. That's what I'm hearing. I, I love them. I do love them. I've been trying and I've been being patient. Shorty be wilding. That's what I just heard. Somebody here said somebody be wilding. Somebody here could be from New York, right? <laughs> somebody here like, shorty be wilding. Yeah, five of swords as I say that. It's like, yo, I do love this person. I, I am trying to be patient with this person, but shorty be wildin'. And as soon as I said shorty be wildin', we got the five of swords and the four of pentacles in the reverse and the sun reverse. It's like, yeah, somebody here be wildin'. Somebody here could have Leo in their chart. Somebody here could be a Leo. Somebody here could be a Pisces. <laughs> but I'm telling you, somebody here definitely be wildin'. And there's a fire sign that's a masculine that feels this way. Some of y'all could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sag, or somebody with strong fire in their chart. But this King of Wands feels like this feminine energy be wild. And it's like, yo, I love them. I don't want to leave them. I don't want this to be over. I have been trying to be patient in this situation. But shorty be fucking wild. And we have more Capricorn energy here. I feel like somebody feel like somebody got ways about them that they just can't overlook. It's like, yo, I don't know if I could get past this, yo. Should he be wildin'? That's what I keep hearing. So I don't know what side someone has shown somebody. It's like, yo, nah, I done seen a different side of this person. Y'all don't know this person like I know this person. And it's like, but you love them, right? And it's like, yeah, I do love them, but it's like, but what? 
it's like yo but shorty be wilding <laughs> you know like i just keep getting that there go that devil in the reverse again i'm telling you somebody here seen a side of somebody that kind of like frightened them a little bit or made them feel some sort of way it's like i don't know if i want to do this i don't know if i could do this okay we got the knight of wands here and the emperor reverse yeah somebody here frightened someone somebody here could also have a temper on them but i feel like both people have a temper in this situation because we got a masculine energy here that's showing up in the reverse here too so i feel like this masculine could be saying that this feminine got ways about them that they don't necessarily like or that they you know not a fan of right that they can't overlook they can't look past but i also feel like whoever this masculine is that's saying this shit they got some ways about them too I feel like both of these people got hot both of these people are hot heads behind closed doors, behind the scenes. They both hot heads. I feel like both parties involved uh be talking shit, okay, probably be slapping each other, whatever. But I'm just getting here that both people are hot heads, both people can have short fuses, short tempers. I feel like these two people are married though, so it's like what the fuck? Are you gonna stay married to this person? Are you gonna divorce them? Like what you about to do? These two people could be married or in a long-term relationship. It's like, yo, you really going to divorce them because they slapped you? You be slapping them too. <laughs> yo, what is this? Why is the readings like this? Like, I can't deal with y'all today. All right. I'm sorry, y'all. It's not funny. Everybody need to keep their hands to themselves. What's the Knight of Wands here? What's the Knight of Wands? Knight of Cups reverse. Somebody here may also feel like they trying to make up with someone, but this person hasn't made an effort to make up with them because they too busy out here being a hoe. And this could go for a man or a woman. Take it as it resonates. But somebody here feel like somebody hasn't taken the time out to try to make things up to them or make up with them because they too busy out here being a hoe. It's like he ain't come apologize. He ain't come make anything up to me. Because he's too busy out here being a hoe. That's how somebody feels about a masculine. Or this is how a masculine feels about a feminine. Again, take it as a resume. Yeah, somebody here like, they ain't come make it up to me. They ain't come apologize. They ain't come heal with me. They ain't heal nothing with me. Because they too busy sneaking off and being a hoe. Somebody here feel like they dealing with somebody that's a player. And it's like, all you do is break my heart. All you do is play games. All you do is cheat on me. All you do is sleep around. You ain't even come back home or you ain't even apologize. You ain't even trying to work things out with me. And I know it's because you being a hoe. But I feel like these two people just blame each other. It's like, I get here that this is a blame game. Like, as soon as somebody say something to that person, it's like that person always has, like, some smart-ass rebuttal. It's like these two people just be hitting each other below the belt, like... Somebody here say something smart, say something slick. The other person got something slick or something smart to say too. Some of y'all dealing with a Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. You dealing with an air sign, they definitely be saying slick shit. But I feel like somebody here definitely unhappy in this situation with the sun reverse. It's like I'm unhappy. I'm tired of us talking bad to each other. I'm tired of us talking slick to each other. I'm just tired. This ain't the way this is supposed to go. This ain't the way marriage is supposed to be. This ain't the way... Yeah, this ain't the way a marriage is supposed to be. This ain't the way a relationship is supposed to be. Clarify this Ace of Pentacles here. What's going on? Six of Wands. Six of Wands just fell out. So Ace of Pentacles, Six of Wands, and a Three of Cups? Shit, what is this? Five out of Ace of Pentacles, Six of Wands, Three of Cups. This is good. This is a new offer, a new opportunity here. This is good news, celebration. This is some sort of proposal or offer. Somebody don't trust somebody. Somebody angry. Because somebody here feel like somebody running off to have a brand new beginning with somebody else. It's like, I know you ain't come back and make things work with me. I know you ain't come back and make things right with me. Because you too busy out here celebrating with somebody else bumping and grinding with somebody else and you think i don't know you think i don't fucking know you think i don't know what you're doing that's what i'm hearing somebody here definitely dealing with an air sign woman that's turning up on their ass 
somebody there's a masculine that could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius, or somebody with strong air in their chart. But I'm telling you, it's a feminine energy with strong air in their chart, and they not one for the games. It's like I know what you're doing. I know that you're playing around. I know that you're sleeping around. I know you're doing everything that you said you wasn't. I know that you're still in love with somebody. I know that you're trying to build with somebody. I know that you got a bunch of hoes. I don't even know where to go. I don't even know who you with. Who are you with? Which one of these hoes you with? Which one of them you with? Are you with the one that you love or are you with the one that you always be screwing? Which one is it? So there's a masculine that has like multiple feminine energies that they play around with. If you a Scorpio man, I'm definitely talking to your ass. But you could be dealing with a woman here that feel like you in love with somebody else. Somebody here definitely feel like somebody in love with somebody else. And they feel like eventually they're going to give this person an offer. But they may be feeling like they just buy in time and sleeping around with somebody else in the meantime. But either way, this feminine energy is pissed off because it's like, I know that's the only reason why you haven't actually tried to make up with me. You haven't tried to make things right with me because I know you plotting and planning and you scheming with a bunch of holes here. Yeah, nine of cups in the reverse here, the magician. Ten of swords. Somebody here feels very betrayed. Somebody here feels very backstabbed. Okay, backstabbed, betrayed. Somebody here could be very sad right now with this nine of cups reverse, ten of swords energy. Somebody here is just like, it's like they feel like their days are becoming longer and darker. It's like somebody here feel like they live in long, dark days. It's like... What are you doing? Where are you going? Like, are you really closing this cycle out? Are you really not about to answer me? Are you really not about to work this out with me? Are you really, are you really like not trying to hear me out? Like, is this really over? Like, what is happening? Here? And I feel like somebody here is like burdened, but they leaving. Somebody here don't know what they want to do, and this is what's. This is also what's making the issue. This is what's also ca causing a lot of issues here because one minute somebody here look like they trying to leave and the next minute they not. And so it's just like, well, what are you doing? You just staying here and playing games with me or you just running off and playing around with some floozies here and lying about your feelings for somebody else. It's like, what are we doing? Clarify this five of wands. What's the five of wands? What's the five of wands, spirit? I've got this five of wands energy. Yeah, death in a reverse. The love is here, page of swords, king of swords. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Gemini and Aquarius. I told you some of y'all dealing with an air sign or a Pisces. This person is not playing with your ass. If you're dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or a Pisces, this person is not playing with you. What is this? Clarify this Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. Somebody here swear up and down that somebody trying to build a life elsewhere. Possibly with somebody else. That's like their biggest fear. That's their biggest worry. Somebody here could be doing that with a Sagittarius though. Somebody here could be trying to build a life with a Sagittarius. Somebody here could be trying to go towards a Sagittarius to build a life with them, to be with them. And somebody knows that. It's like you're divorcing me or you're breaking up with me to go start a new life with the Sagittarius. I hate you so much. Somebody here feel like somebody was only with them for finances as well is what I'm picking up on. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles reverse, Queen of Pentacles reverse, the Fool reverse. Somebody here feel like somebody lied to them throughout their whole marriage or their whole relationship. Somebody here was cheating on them, their whole marriage, their whole relationship. It's like, all you did was waste years of my life. Valuable years of my life that I'm never going to get back. I hate you so much. Somebody here could have been dealing with a fire sign. I think I said that earlier. But King of Wands reversed the full reverse. Somebody here could have also been dealing with an Aquarius. 
But somebody here is just like, you are so immature. You are so selfish. You're a player. All you did was use me. All you did was sleep around and cheat on me throughout our whole marriage, throughout our whole relationship. And somebody here is like, oh, well, all you did was use me. All you did was use me. You, you, I cheated on you throughout the whole marriage, throughout the whole relationship. Okay, and all you did was use me. So we even fuck out of here. And it's like, what? Is this what it's come to? Is this what it's come down to? Is somebody here like, yeah. But I feel like this is just a lot of back and forth. It's like both of these people, in the midst of all of this drama, both of these people love each other. They do. They do. Both of these people love each other. But I feel like there's a feminine energy here that's just getting really, really tired at this point. Because the masculine is showing up as the king of cups in the upright. And the feminine is showing up as the queen of cups in the, in the reverse. There could be a third party that this masculine was dealing with. That this masculine does, that they do love. And they could be trying to hide this from this feminine energy that feels played by this masculine. But this feminine energy is intuitive. And they know that this masculine has deep feelings for this other feminine energy. But whoever they have deep feelings for, this feminine energy is holding back from them. I also feel like somebody here could be going to jail, y'all. Somebody here gonna get locked up. I promise you. The Empress reverse, Queen of Cups reverse. Somebody here might get locked up. Why? I know this masculine ain't gonna get this feminine locked up. I would hope not. Like, what is this? Oh, this card ain't even supposed to be in here. But we got the moon reverse. Pisces again. So we got the moon reverse in both decks. Somebody here could be trying to get somebody locked up. Somebody here dealing with a Pisces. They could be trying to set this person up or trying to get this person locked up. But I feel like justice is going to be served in somebody's situa in, in this situation. We got the justice card, the star, and the queen of swords. Somebody here could be trying to set somebody up to get them locked up or some shit like that. Or somebody is getting locked up for something that they did in the past that may have nothing to do with this situation. But it's just catching up to them. I also feel like, like I said earlier, I think I said it earlier where both people may have short tempers, right? They go that Knight of Wands energy again. It's like somebody here wants somebody to lose their temper. Somebody here wants somebody to lose their patience and show their ass so that they could get them arrested. What is this? Yep. Nine of Pentacles in the reverse, four swords reverse. Because it's like, I have no peace. I'm restless. You cause so much stress for me. You put me in a tight situation. You've used me. You cause so many burdens for me. So I ain't going to rest until your ass is in jail. If you ain't going to do right by me, then you're going to be in jail. Period. What is this, y'all? This ain't right, man. What do I even picked up on, y'all? Yeah, the devil and the ten of swords. The devil and the ten of swords, y'all. I cannot make this shit up. Somebody here could be dealing with a Capricorn. The devil, the ten of swords, and the wheel of fortune reverse, and the chair reverse. Strong Capricorn and cancer energy here. There's a king of wands that needs to watch their fucking back. Okay? There's a king of wands that need to watch their back because there's a hierophant reverse devil on their motherfucking back, okay? So it's like, yeah, somebody here need to watch their back. Somebody here think they about to be celebrating with somebody else, but that is not how it's about to go, child. What's the, um... Yeah, I'm telling you, that is not how it's about to go. Somebody here think they about to have the Ten of Cups. Somebody here think they about to lie and sneak their way into a Ten of Cups situation with somebody else and leave somebody else heartbroken. But whoever they think they about to leave heartbroken, it ain't going down like that. Because whoever they think that they about to leave heartbroken got some masculines that's watching this person or about to... You know, whatever. I, I'm telling you. I know what I'm seeing here. It's something like that. But either way, somebody here don't need 
Like, listen, let's just say y'all resonate with this message, right? I'm going to just give y'all a side tip. No funny shit. Like, this some real shit I'm about to say. If this is your story and this resonates with you and you played this person, they played you, right? Y'all both played each other in whatever way, right? Don't try to get up. Don't try to get over on one another and leave on a bad note. Like, if y'all are going to leave each other, don't leave on a bad note and leave somebody fucked up or leave somebody in a fucked up situation. That's not cool. Like, I don't care. Especially because I feel like both people in this situation played each other in some way. I feel like neither parties are innocent, right? Both people could have played each other in some way. So, I'm just telling y'all on a serious tip, on a side note, aside from these motherfucking cards, like, don't leave the other person fucked up in a, in a bad situation. At least look out for them. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I just feel like somebody here... Either somebody suspects that somebody is going to leave them in a messed up situation or somebody here is actually going to leave somebody in a messed up situation. But I'm telling y'all, if y'all can help it, don't do that. Because at one point in time, you really love this person. You really care about this person. I feel like there's still some sort of love here. I feel like y'all just angry with each other. But either way, don't leave somebody in a really effed up position here. Because things ain't work out with y'all or they hurt you. Still, like, look out for that person. You know, like, I don't know. Y'all, I think y'all know what I'm trying to say. Because somebody here feel like they're going to be in a five of pentacles if somebody walk away from them. So that's what I'm saying. Like, don't leave somebody in a five of pentacles that you actually once cared about when you know that you did this person wrong, too. You know? y'all that's the message okay take what resonates and leave what didn't oh, excuse me um i don't even know what i'm going to title this these uh messages have been i don't know just a little a little much okay i decided to do water signs and i don't know why i thought shit was gonna be peaches and cream when tapping into water signs. I don't know why I thought that. I don't know why I thought it was about to be peaches and cream, unicorns and rainbows, and I'm tapping into water sign energy. <laughs> like, water signs y'all always be coming with the, with the shit. I'm telling y'all, water signs and fire signs always coming, okay? Y'all the heavy hitters. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'm gonna talk to y'all soon, okay? I hope this message was helpful. I hope it resonated with you guys. Um, also, feel free to share this with anyone that you feel like this may resonate with, that you feel like this may help. All right, y'all. Take care of yourselves. I will talk to y'all soon. Make sure y'all turn on that notification bell so that y'all can get notified when I post. All right? Peace.